Live Kabbalah is a nonprofit organization founded for the distribution of the wisdom of Kabbalah and its values. Learning the original principles of this wisdom can reconnect us with the true values of our society, including the belief in the dignity and freedom of man, democracy, and the freedom of speech. Hello everyone, uh, this month we are in the month of Iyar, the sign of Taurus in Hebrew, Shor. And this is a special month because it's very, very much charged with energies, positive and negative, both. How come? The month of Taurus is the only month that is totally inside the counting of the Omer. If you don't know what the counting of the Omer is about, you can read on the site and understand why during this time there's so much judgment. What does it, what does it mean, judgment? A lot of selfishness. People get irritated very easily. It's very easy for people to get off course and lose their control. And the drive, the body drive towards fulfilling the body needs and desires and cravings and passions this is the time and we know the sign of Taurus they're very much body oriented their love is physical love their passion is physical their need is physical this is the side of Taurus which is earth sign it's also according to Kabbalah a left column and we know that the ox is one of the four holy beasts of Ezekiel's holy chart, holy Merkava, and that's the one that has the face to the left. What is the left? Negativity, judgment. And that's why it says in the book of uh, Formation, Sefer Yetzira, Himlichot Vav, and the Creator crowned the letter Vav and created with it the sign of Taurus, in the world, the month of Iyar, in the year, and left arm in the body. What does that mean? It means that we know that the ox is a left column. Again, judgment. So, on one hand, a lot of the tikkun, most of the negativity of the counting of the Omer, rises and surfaces during the time of the month of Taurus. However, we know that the Creator always brings the medication, the remedy, to the place of the disease, so we can be healed. How can we be healed? So, if we look at the name of the month, Iyar, it's the same sound and word very similar to the light, to the word Or, light. The biblical name, the more ancient name of this month is Yerach Ziv. Ziv in Hebrew means illumination, shining illumination. And this is also the month that we celebrate on the 18th of that month, we celebrate the passing away of Rabbi Shimon, Lag Baomer, and the celebration of the completion of the Zohar. Zohar means splendor. And what is the planet of this month? Venus in Hebrew, Noga. And Noga, Noga means in Hebrew, again, Glamour, illumination of light. So it's a month, according to the Kabbalists, that is full of light. On one hand, desire, passion, craving, draws a lot of light. On the other hand, you can get burned. You can be destroyed by too much energy. How do you heal that? Love. Venus is a planet of love. Taurus, show is the same is the same letters of the name Vav Shin Reish from the 72 names, which in numerical value is 506, 506, which is also in numerical value Ahavat Chinam, unconditional love. And so we have here, on one hand, a biggest disease, which is selfishness, and physical cravings and desires that when we focus on that we of course that's why it says Yad Yamin left arm which is the left side desire to receive the self alone judgment and the love that we have to bring in through meditation through actions 
getting out of our comfort zone, because Venus, numerical value, value of Noga is Noach, comfort. And when we stay in our comfort, then we stay in our selfishness and we stay away from the light. When we get out of our comfort zone to do something for somebody else, that's when we meet the energy of love, which is the Creator. But we exercise that on human beings. So, have a very successful, powerful, enlightened month of year. Thank you.